Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Hi, dear boy. This is, goes to show you over on California Street, we had a northeast uh, wind over there. It was pretty lumpy over there. Now, look at this. And then the bar is pretty uh, cruddy. They closed her down, I think, 26 and under. So, anyway, this is a nice spot right here. Okay, so what we're going to do to rear, run that rear deck station, you always got to have the key on. These have got to be in neutral. See, there's forward, that's neutral, right up in here. So then if I was back here, if I wanted to switch stations, I can just hit this one right here. And then that activates this one. I can start the motor. I can do single lever just by doing that. And then what we'll do is just turn these on. And that, once you activate it, they all come on. Okay, this light well works. Fish box, I think, are gonna work. Uh, I, it was really cold, so they probably froze a little bit. Some of the water, to, uh, the pump's working fine. The auto builder's working fine. The wharf down's working fine. Motors are good. Take a video of what you will have. The water flow, you just hit I agree right there. Uh, good water flow there. So now you know just with how these motors run. If they shake really hard like this in gear, uh, tell me you've probably got water. You give me a call and tell you how you fix that. that do, uh, adding that extra hydraulic cylinder made a big difference. And I put radar overlay in blue. You can change that color if you want to. You can always just go up here. Like say, if I'm messing around here, this is what's nice about the two charts. I can have radar overlay here. I can have this one here. So then what I can do is mess with this one and maybe set a waypoint like right there. And then it says if you go into here and it said auto guidance, it's going to figure that route out for you. Boom. Start navigation. Then all you have to do is go back and then see I can mess around with this and still keep this one. See where my range is. I can go in and out and it doesn't change this one. And I go like this and it brings you right back. And then if you want, you can go here and go to toolbars. You can have a compass up there if you want to see where you, to make sure it matches 171, 171. This goes off a of course over ground. So uh, that works really good. You can see these numbers here. Uh, 3.5 miles to destination, 1056. By the time I get there, I'm off about 201 feet. So I need to get on that line. So that's that one. And then you go back here, you go home, of course. You can just do this here. Whoop, go here, go to split view. Oh, I already got it. Ha, ah, silly me. Uh, let's go just to charts. Uh, let's go to radar overlay. And then if I want to stop navigating at any time, I just have to hit this. And then you hit no. Boom, it's gone. I want to transmit radar. You just hit this one right here. Now it's spinning up they should all spin up uh, and then these must went on standby yes agree and then it pops up these and then I set these data bars over here so how to get to those is say if I wanted I just hit this enlarge it and then go to options and then uh, you can go to um, oh I think it was whoops go to options Huh, how do you like that BS, huh? Now I can't find it. Anyway, this is a magnifier here. I'll show you that in a little bit. Okay, go back, and then that will bring you back into here. Toolbars again will bring up the compass. Oh, and then you can add, actually add to, you can go up or down. That's what these arrows are right here. Close out, and that gets rid of that. You got some fish right there. There's your A-scope. See how that orange right after that? That's a bait, a little bait ball. That's that right there. You can magnify that over. If you want to go back to the original point, you just hit that arrow there. And then I got my data bars sitting up here. And then like I say, if I wanted to go home, I can go to uh, Vest, whoa. Shoot, go up again, go to options, edit combo. And this, then you do overlays and then you can pick data sidebar, which I did. That's how you get those sidebars right here. And then what's nice about this too, is I can hit this button that enlarges that. If I want to go back, I just hit back. 
all your fuel grade, your tack, tack, speedometer, you got tamp, you got oil, PSI, oil. So that's pretty neat. Then you, like I say, then you can go home on this one. And like say, I wanna to go to Yamaha gauges, I can go to that one there. I can go home, I can go back over into fuel. That gives me my fuel readings right there. Go home back here. Uh, let's see, I want Yamaha gauges probably right here. Boom. All right, let me see, Yamaha. And then I can go back here and it'll do your split. Okay, so other than that, trim tabs work. Now I'm on the rear deck back there, so I'd have to put that in neutral to activate this one. Um, there was something else I was gonna show you on this, like the auto guidance was pretty cool. Like I say, you can sit here like this and I can draw like anywhere, right out to here, boom. Hold that. There, auto guidance. He'll draw you right up the channel, right out there. Miss low-lying bridges, uh, start navigating. There. Then, you can go back home. Which you have to go here. Then you can go back to charts. Then go to nav charts. And then that will give you all, what time, 11 miles out. But see how it went right up the channel? Right out to that point gonna take you at an auto guidance you so it's pretty neat stop panning brings you back stop navigating just hit that and hit no that puts you right back there so then under combo I went over here and I think I was running I set you up one new combo and you got dual range radar here too I don't know if you knew about that but right here uh, you got range a range B now when I'm doing a combo you want to make sure you change that to range B if you have like radar overlay and then radar because if not see how I'm at a quarter mile I'm at a quarter mile this is range A range B so I can go three quarters of three quarters of a mile out stick a quarter see how now I'm starting to see the land mass now I'm seeing that buoy right up here it's right here so the thing is if I had this thing set for a mile out I probably wouldn't see that so now I got this set at a quarter so it's gonna pick that up but if I had this set at a quarter just on my main and there was something like a mile up there, there was a boat way over there and I couldn't pick them up on my radar, well, because I ain't zoomed out. But now I can go like a mile out and I can do this a quarter to a half so I can see what's close and what's far away. So that's kind of a neat little feature. Uh, then uh, sonar, let's go back to combos and let's go into this one. That kind of gives me everything I need to know. Uh, overlay, then I got the traditional side and down and yeah, they're all picking up really good. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the back, and then right here, I'm going to miss that buoy, I hope. Yep, it's right there. Nav lights, we'll turn that wipers, they work. Spreader lights, I'll leave that on. Horn works. Spare, spare. Fish box, I'm going to turn on again. Bilge pump, they work. I tried that. Now, the one fish box works, the other one, like I say, I think it's just like a little ice in the line. Yeah, that one's working. And he probably got some ice right in here. Yeah, I bet he does. Now, it looks like the fish boxes are starting to work now. Got that valve there. That should be pumping that one out. You turn it the other one, it pumps this one out. So that seems like it's working. I'm gonna shut that one off. I'm gonna leave that one off until it thaws out a little bit. Let's see how much time I got out here. Nine minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna start another video on this because it's gonna take a while. <clears throat> 25 Admiral, this is Boat Doctor, out.